Synesthetic. News, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Amila Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Remember to follow us on all our social media platforms. We're on Instagram, Prince Amila Entertainment, Facebook, or Prince Amila Entertainment, Facebook group, or Prince Amila Entertainment TV. Today is the 12th of um, April uh, 2022. Welcome to another edition of our daily news, breaking news, everyday news. So, guys, uh, the ZNPF uh, National Youth Conference selected for next month is reportedly renewed arrival between factions aligned to President uh, Emerson Nangagwa and his deputy, Konzatino Chuenga. The two leaders are said to be at loggerheads over who should occupy the influential deputy secretary for youth affairs post fireworks are expected at the may 4 to 8 npf elective youth conference eight years after the ruling party held such a conference various youth posts are up for grabs including that of deputy secretary for youth affairs Nangagwa is said to appoint someone to the secretary for youth affairs post who sits in the politburo the npf sources yesterday uh, said that Nangagwa and Chuenga were divided over who to endorse for the deputy youth uh, secretary post. Chuenga reportedly supports Kutu North MP John Paraza for the powerful position while Nangagwa reportedly wants a candidate who has the aptitude to challenge citizens calling for change to proceed party president Noson Chamisa. The youth league is no longer vibrant as it used to be and we are aware that President Nangagwa and his deputy Chuenga are divided over which candidate should occupy the deputy secretary for youth affairs post. Chuenga is fully backing Paraza while Nangagwa is sweating over the position and so they are divided at the moment a party source said. Nangagwa wants someone who can mobilize youth like the former youth leader Puza Chipanga and someone who can challenge Triple C leader uh, Chamisa. Paraza is not that bad, but he does not have that the required uh, charisma. And so let's wait and see. We're just waiting for a signal from Nangagwa on what is going to be the next move. Other candidates reportedly in top position in the youth league are the late former president Robert Mugabe's son, Robert Jr. Businessman Denimo Mambondiani is reportedly also eyeing a top youth position. The youth organ is, is said to play a key role in the forthcoming 2023 elections. The NPF Secretary for Administration, Obin Professor, dismissed the alleged divisions between Mnangagwa and Chiwenga. He said the party was united. There's nothing like that at all, and this is not true. People always want to wish bad things on our presidents. The NPF is a united party and a revolutionary party. I spoke about it recently, saying that there are no fissures between our presidents and there won't be any, Mpof said. The NPF acting. Secretary for Youth Affairs, Tendai Chirao said, preparations for the youth conference were going on well. We are going to hold provincial conferences, he said. So guys, that's the latest here regarding to uh, the ZNPF uh, Youth Conference. It will go from 4 May to 8 May. And so we're going to keep you guys in the loop here on our daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Midler Entertainment TV. They need someone else who is vibrant and uh, who can mobilize the youth. Remember the 2023 vote, Irukuma Youth. And uh, so we need to go out there and register to vote. Otherwise, uh, pakaipa, pakaipa. So we as a youth, we need to go out there and get our IDs and also register to vote so that uh, we can shape the future of tomorrow. Otherwise, we need to vote for the future of tomorrow. But in 20 years time, 40 years time, most of these old Madalas, we need to make the decisions ourselves. We are the youth. And so guys, this is a daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Remember guys to like, share, comment, and follow. Bless up. Sinister.